everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios, and we are on day 22 of our 31 days of Halloween, doing October Daily Memory Deck style. Now, I've got a cute one to show you today, but before we work on today's project, I wanted to show you this. This is Bob's birthday present today, and I'm going to turn off lights here a minute, and it's going to be kind of dark for just a second. And I hope it'll be dark enough to show. Watch the eyeball. I don't know if you can see it. See it glow? Isn't that cool? I used a kit that I bought from Spectrum Art Creations on a Saturday sale. And it's called Chibitronics by We Are Memory Keepers. And what it does is it creates light up cards. And I will link Chibatronics down below, and I will also link, um, if Maddie still has some in the shop, I will link them in her shop as well. But that was Bobby's birthday, birthday card this morning. Okay, so now on to today's project. We have a Santa boot, which is our inspiration, and it was on Instagram. Well, it was on Pinterest, but it was put on Pinterest from Instagram, so I have no clue where it came from. I'm not putting stuff in the boot. But here's what I've done. I'm going to slide this to the side so we can still see it. I started with my base. <clears throat> and I chose paper from Magic in This Night Collection. And I chose that spider web. I thought about doing the boat, the boot in the spider web, but I didn't like the way it was coming out. So I used this for the background. There's a larger section of that paper. And then I went in and I found a graphic for a witch's boot. I just threw part of it on the floor. Ugh. And I just shrunk it to I enlarged it and then I brought it down to size that would fit on the memory dex card and I cut it out. I also cut out what was part of the belt buckle or a part of the buckle on the shoe. And this is what I came up with. I cut the shoe out in gloss black, and then I cut that little buckle section out in orange glitter paper. And we're going to go ahead and glue this down, but I want to use the dimensionals on it because I want it to pop up pretty much off of there. And then we'll talk about the, the embellishments that I have added. And I've got this little skim of paper here off the end and I think I'm going to use the partials they'll fit on there got a couple of those just like that now we can come back with more of these so one of Bob's favorite things to do when he's off is we spend a lot of time at the dining room table playing cards. So I would imagine that's probably what we're going to do today. Then when we get tired of sitting at the dining room table, we'll move to the sofa and we'll watch movies because that's what we do. And we do the things we enjoy all the time. Um... Bob had his favorite breakfast this morning, his sausage, gravy, and biscuits. I was a lazy housewife, and he did not get homemade biscuits this morning because I had was trying to get this done. Now, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to mush those down so those really burnish on there. And then we'll come back, and we'll rip them off. I've not decided on dinner yet today. I think maybe we're going to do lasagna. And we have found that... He found years ago when I decided to make lasagna for his family just how expensive making lasagna from scratch could be. So we have found that our favorite homemade lasagna is Stouffer's. Stouffer's makes the absolute closest, closest to homemade lasagna that I have ever found. And no, you can't use the generics. You gotta use Stouffer's if you want the good stuff. And no, it's not an affiliate for Stouffer's. I just like my Stouffer's. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to position the, the boot on here. Now, I am going to have to punch that out, and I will come back and do that in just a minute. 
fact, let's do that now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over so I know where I have to punch. Just like that. And I'll have to take the scissors and clip that out just like that. Okay, now I put a little bit of that gold <clears throat> glitter paper underneath and then I cut the spider from the black glitter paper and I added one of the red gems and this is from uh, one of those big long strips from Dollar Tree. So I used that. And then I had, this was from some of that uh, sticker backed um, ribbon like we used the orange grow grain the other, or the orange rick rack the other day. This is from the same collection. And then I made a bow out of the purple ribbon that I had on hand. And then from another die set from Stampin' Up, I punched out the little witch hat. Now I punched this partially in three in three pieces. I punched it out of the shiny black in full. Then I cut a piece of the little shimmer uh, paper in the lavender and then a piece of the gold for the buckle. Now here's the thing. I'm always telling you, see what you have to work with. What is in your stash? What I did, this was one of those moments when I thought, okay, what kind of shiny or glitter paper do I have in purple? And so I just started all of my glitters and all of my foil papers are all right together on the shelf. So I just started flipping through to see what I had. So you just think about, I wonder if I have, and go for it. Just go for it. Now I'm going to use my craft glue for this. But that's what I'm always encouraging. Don't think about... I need, think about what do I have, make what do I have part of your vocab, vocabulary, excuse me. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. I don't need a bunch. I just want it to be able to stick to the bow, just like that, okay? And then I'm going to use part of this bling, and I thought every witch should have a bling. Now this one has a little gold embellishment to replicate a bell. A witch does not want a bell on her shoe. Trust me. So I'm going to come in with my sticky scissors and cut those out because these are all attached by a string of glue. And I don't want the string of glue on there. And then I'm going to put a dot right on the end of that shoe. And then I'm going to put a piece of this bling. She's going to have a diamond on the toe of her shoe. And I'm going to push it right there. And we'll let it set. Now I have one other thing I want to add to this. And that is the cat. I think he is just adorable. So I'm going to, I've taken my button shank off the back. And again, I'm going to use my craft glue because it will stick to just about anything. And I think I'm going to put some down here too. We want to make sure he's going to stick. Make sure he's going to stick. Because, you know, he's he's guarding her shoe here. He's making sure nobody messes with her shoe. And we're going to put him right on the end. <clears throat> and that is all I am doing to this one. So what do you think? Um, I like the added addition of bling on here. I would like to have emphasized him more, but I was afraid since this was my only cat button, if I did that, I risked messing him up. Oh, and we've got to put our 22 on here. We gotta put our 22 on here. Make sure we're going right side up. So we're going on the bottom of the button. And we are going right there. And that gives us our day 22 of our 31 days of Halloween doing October, day, October daily memory deck style. I will be back here tomorrow with another card because I'm gonna do something special tomorrow. Um, with something else that I got from Spectrum Art Creations. So come back here tomorrow for uh, Make It Mail It Monday, and then we'll be back in the afternoon with day 23 of our 31 days of Halloween doing October Daily Memory Deck Style. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any part of what's remaining of this crazy, creepy ride. Creative blessings.